Hello and welcome to the second episode of Cooking with Tiger Stew, the chicken edition. This week's recipe is something a little special uh, for all the family to enjoy. It's my roast chicken with lemon and lemon thyme butter and it is absolutely mwah. Let's crack on and get those ingredients. Ingredients. Two lemons, one packet of lemon thyme, butter and one medium chicken. Okay, so... First things first, we need to get the chicken in the roasting tin. Chicken's in the tin. We need to start thinking about making the butter. So with the butter, what we want to do is use half of it. Pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds. That butter's nice and soft and will be easy to use. The juice of one lemon, or half the juice of this lemon, in with the butter. will say is leave a little bit of life left in it don't squeeze everything out because we don't need too much in the butter now for the lemon thyme and that smells absolutely beautiful it's going to start to get a clump of that and start to cut cut that in there and just start to mix it with your hands mix it as well as you can Okay, now back to the chicken. We've got our butter. What we need to do is just get a little bit on your fingers and work it under the skin of the bird. Get some on the outside of the bird as well. That lemon that you've got plenty of life in and plenty of juice, we're going to put that in the bird to cook. So what will happen is when it's cooking it will release that um, vapour and aroma and add it to the pan. We're going to put one piece of lemon there. Just give it a little squeeze. Let's get the juices flowing. There we go. And again, you can put a little bit of the lemon juice over the bird. And just put the other pieces in there as well. Just want to cover the base of the bird. So you want about 50 mils in there. And that's enough water to cover the base so it doesn't burn. Start putting a little bit of veg in because that can cook at the same time with the bird and just adds plenty of flavour to your vegetables. Okay, so all the veg is in the pan. It is ready to go in. So, what we need to do now is get some foil and cover it. Okay, so we want it on 200 degrees for one hour. And then after the hour, we're going to remove the foil and cook it for a further 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, so the foil is off and that is looking beautiful. But we need to brown it and cook it a little bit further. So, back in the oven we go. And as you can see, that is done. So, the chicken's cooked. We've got some beautiful juices for the gravy. And we've got the shallots, we've got the spuds, we've got the carrots, all to add to our roast. Um, now the potatoes this time just need a little bit of browning off, so I'm just going to put them, I think, in a, in a pan. Now it's time to make that gravy. Okay, so the chicken is out. Now look at the juices we're left with. So, break down an oxo cube into a jug, and now we're going to add them, the juices, straight into the into the mixture. Okay, so we've mixed the oxo cube with the, with the juices of the bird. What we're now going to do is add a little bit of flour and some oil just to thicken the gravy up. And I tell you what, it smells absolutely fantastic. We've added one tablespoon of flour. We've added some vegetable oil, uh, probably about one to two tablespoons just to thicken it up. And it's thickening very nicely. Mm -mm. Now look how easy that is cutting through. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. So the chicken is moist, flavoursome. Somebody who's carving it is eating it as they're going. Just look at that, beautiful. There we have it. That is beautiful, succulent. Obviously I've added a couple of extras, so a couple of stuffing balls and some broccoli. They weren't cooked in the pan, and to be honest, they wouldn't. So, now, the taste test. So that chicken was absolutely gorgeous. Um, it was succulent, 
it was beautiful. It had flavour, had depth to the meat as well. Um, when splitting the the bird, it was just absolutely fantastic. As literally the meat just fell off the bone. Um, the gravy that it makes is very different in concept to normal gravy, so it's quite sweet. Um, still has that flavour, still has that depth, um, but it was absolutely gorgeous. So cooking the vegetables in there, like I say, it's like having a meal in a pan. Um, so that was my second recipe and the second episode of Cooking with Tiger Stew, the chicken edition, episode two. So I hope you enjoyed it. I've enjoyed cooking it and sharing that recipe with you. Um, so please do try it. Please like, subscribe and have a great day.